Capricorn. Welcome to your July 15th through the 30th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Now today we're going under the sea with the under the sea tarot deck which I'm super excited about and the dolphin and mermaid tarot deck. But you're definitely going to want to subscribe because in August, I already have a plan, we are going to Wonderland together and it's going to be so much fun and you are not going to want to miss this. So if you want to subscribe and hit that bell icon, you'll be notified as soon as I put that out August the 1st. So that's like really exciting. All right, so let's get started on your reading today, Capricorn. What is the central theme of Capricorn's reading today? What is the central theme of Capricorn's reading today? One card for the central theme of Capricorn's reading today, please. One card for the central theme of Capricorn's reading today. One card. Okay, so it's a time to break free. Try different, different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So I need three cards for Capricorn's internal world. What's going on inside of Capricorn's head? All right, so that one just popped out. We have the moon reverse. This is Cancer energy. It could also be Pisces. It's all about illusions, fantasy, alcohol, and drug addiction. Um, when it's in the reverse, it's nightmares, imagination running wild, uh, not using your intuition, buried memories. Um, addictions, addictions just in general. Two more cards. Here they are. They just flopped right out, didn't they? All right, so there's not letting go of the past, being stuck, tied to the past. It could be with a Pisces or a Cancer. And then we have um, new financial opportunities news of money, um, debt, this could be debt. It's a solid, fit, grounded financial start. So you're thinking about money, you're thinking about um, ways to get a solid financial start. You're also thinking, you're not letting, you're refusing to let go of the past. And there could be addictions here. There, you could be addicted to thinking about the past. That could be a possibility. What's going on in Capricorn's family and home life? Two more cards for Capricorn's family and home life. All right, right off the bat, we pulled. I pulled all new juggling, and that card just came out. I wanted three, but I got four. All right, so right off the bat, what I'm seeing is a lot of ambition. I'm seeing a lot of temperament, like temperaments, a lot of aggression in your family and home life. A lot of striving to achieve. Um, it's very dynamic. The first we have is a character card. This is the King of Tridents. So this is the card of Sagittarius. And the King of Tridents, other people look to him for guidance. He gets out and about. He sets a good example. Um, he has no regrets. If he had his life to do over, he would do it the same. Life is boring without risks. He admits he made mistakes, but if he had to do it all over again, uh, he wouldn't have changed anything. He's a natural born leader, an entrepreneur. He's powerful, dynamic, dependable, energetic, adventurous, a go-getter. He takes control of his life. He comes up with big ideas. Then we have the nine of tridents. This is also fire energy. This is also Sagittarius energy. So the nine of tridents is constantly being on guard, taking on way too much, trying to cope, the battle weary soldier, Reflecting on the past, discovering strengths. And 
we have the seven of tridents. And this is too many challenges. They're being thrown your way. Tenacity, strength, um, struggling to stay on top, feeling defensive, defending your reputation, juggling, the two of starfish, juggling, juggling people, juggling situations, juggling family and um, friends, juggling, you're, you're juggling. So what's going on with Capricorn's money? Three cards for Capricorn's money, please. Three cards, okay. Two more cards for Capricorn's money, okay. All right, so you're spending your money on your addictions or somebody else's addictions. There's toxicity here. The first we have the, uh, there's chaos, confusion, lack of clarity. Toxicity, codependency, uh, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, spending your money on addictions, marijuana, um, We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. You can't move on. You're carrying baggage. What's going on with Capricorn's social and romantic life? Three cards for Capricorn's social and romantic life, please. All right, so this is your energy. This is Capricorn energy in your finances, and there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of conflict with, in terms of your finances. There are things are changing, and you want to stay the same. You want to stay stable, stable, but you need to change with it. You need to go with the flow. It's holding you back. It's holding you hostage. Uh, your money, you need, to, you need to change. You need to adapt. Um, you can't just stay the same place. It, you see that treasure chest? Your addictions are holding you from that treasure chest because you refuse, you refuse to change. You refuse. Sudden change is going to happen. It's going to happen. And you just need to, to face it. It's going to be traumatic for you because you don't want to change. It's going to happen suddenly. And you have to just adapt. Adapt with it. You need to go with the flow. You can't be so solid and grounded all the time. All right, so uh, three cards for Capricorns. Romantic and social life, please. That one just wanted to come out. So you're reaping the harvest of your hard work. You feel burdened, like you're taking on too much responsibility. And there's emotional immaturity, um, impulsiveness, recklessness, uh, poor timing, being inappropriate, foolish. There's a lack of freedom, a lack of fun. All right, so the first we have the seven of starfish, so the seven of pentacles. So this is hard work, it's paying off, um, highly skilled, qualified, Virgo energy. Ten of pentacles, burdened, taking on too much, taking on other people's stuff. The fool reversed immaturity, um, foolishness, reckless behavior, being reckless. It's 
in terms of your career, things are coming in really slow. We have the Knight of Pentacles, but they are coming in. He breathes new life into plans. He makes things happen. He's ambitious and hardworking. He is prosperity. Two more cards for career, please. You do have the ability to give. You're making enough that you're able to give to others. One more for career, please. Karma. Karma came back. And it's good karma. This is good karma. Um, you, you get what you reap. You reap, but nothing lasts forever. You need to, you know, face that. Things do change. The only thing that stays constant in this universe is things change. Just accept it. All right. Three advice cards. Three advice cards for Capricorn, please. Three advice cards for Capricorn. Exactly perfect. All right, so there's massive conflict here. No, there's not. No, it's beautiful and harmonious. Okay, so the first that we have is unfortunately there is no parade. You're not being victorious here, uh, there's a lack of victory. You are at a crossroads. You have decisions, difficult choices, painful decisions. But there's an incubation period. It's beautiful. This is the Empress. It, it needs time to incubate, time to, just like a baby. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank mm -hmm. you.